Shake it off, have a baby. What am I recording again? Hello and welcome back to another episode of our Unknown to Icon series. We are currently in season three. From our last video, we showed you pre-season, our transfers, and we won our first game of the season. Flanagan, Villa, gone. Yes, three, two. First game of the season, away to Oldham. Back in for National League. Come on, ref. Come on. Yes. Brilliant. In today's video, we're going to show you two games. I have played some games, so let me give you a quick update and let's get to it. So in the last episode, we played Oldham and we beat them 3-2. We was away, which is really, really good. I mean, we had a slow, slow first half. Obviously, it was drawing to all. Got a quick goal. They got a goal back. Goal before half time, but straight into the second half, we got that goal. Team talk. Come on, guys, you can get that draw. And that goal just gave the team a really good boost. And we got the winner. And that's how the story ended. Really, really good. So I've played some more games. And where are we at? So let's just highlight these here. So we've played four more games. Five games unbeaten in the league at the moment. What a great start. 500 to 1. Wow, I wish I put a couple of hundred quid on that. This time next year, we'll be millionaires. Actually, working out frauds. I don't even think that would give me that much money. But hey, oh, it'd be a lot more money than what I have now, I guess. So let's just run through this quickly. So our first home game of season, we played Hampton and Richard. Richard? Richard? Hampton and Richmond. Oh, Richmond FC. I just started watching Tad Lasso. Oh, I'm a bit of a late bloomer with that series. Wow, first season. Really, really good. I thought American coach. I thought, ah, this is going to be naff. But actually, it's bloody funny. Really good British humor. It's British humor with American humor. So I do advise, go check it out. But yes, Hampton and Richmond, we won 3-2. Amazing. Uh, Jack Turner got 9.1. He scored two goals for us. He is on fire. Because then against Oldham, he got a goal for us as well. Actually, I, it was that stunner goal. Yes, cool round top corner. Beautiful thing to see, especially in non-league football. Then we move on to York. Not York City, just York. It is not York City, right? It is York City. Wow. 100 years Anyway, so York City, it's because the badge changed. We beat them away at their home. 3-0. I thought that was a brilliant win. And then Bromley, we struggled a little bit with Bromley. That Michael Cheek, he won player of the month, by the way. Jack Turner came second. But Michael Cheek, I think he scored five goals out of four. So, deservedly. And we came third in managers of the month because we drew that game. I reckon if we won that, could we have won it? Probably. Gateshead manager won it. I'll show you the table in a minute because uh, Gateshead are top. And then our last game we played is against Boronwood and we won 1-0 away. Another good away win. If I can just keep on picking up these cheeky wins, I am very happy. And to be fair, in that game, we was all over them. I think we had 17 shots, 7 on target. But it felt like that game, it could have. It was either going to be a tight one. I think I've got to the last five minutes again. I can see them scoring just because we're all over them. They're not showing any signs. And then suddenly they have a whack. And I think it was in the 92nd minute they had an attempt. And luckily it went over and whistle blew. So we won it. Now, the reason why I've kind of stopped here is because I want to show you these next two games. South Shields and Woken. South Shields aren't playing that well. They're 23rd in the league at the moment. It's early stages. And Woken are 16th in the league at the moment. So if we do go to the league table, and there you go, we are second with our four wins and a draw, 13 points, plus six goal difference. But hold that thought for a moment of who we're playing. Woken are down there in South Shields. Now, when I started the season, I was kind of like, well, I want to play Oldham, and then I want a double whammy shot. And, I'm, and this was perfect. When you look at the season preview here, Woken and South Shields. They're in for top five. They're in for mix to get promoted. Woking got re relegated and South Shields was a team that got promoted. But they are in such good odds to get promoted from this league. Again, double back-to-back -back promotions. They're in a good position. But they're 23rd. So I kind of was like, oh, we're not performing well. Maybe this could just be a walkover. 10th rate now, touch wood. 
Uh, my door. Got a door out there and a wooden desk. So yeah, I've got a wooden door. That's fine. I can tap that. Uh, but yeah, woke it. I reckon working is going to be the hardest one because obviously they're performing better. But if we jump back to schedule, self shields is at home and woken. Yeah, woken is going to be a hard one. So we're going to finish off with that game, start with self shields and see how we do. Let's pick our team. I think I'm going to go with my unbeaten team at the moment. We've had to make a couple of changes because Wadrington has been injured and Grante was he suspended or was he injured? Well, he's back now, so he is going to jump back in for Flanagan because he is a much better performer as well. Uh, Nash, 7.76. I like Nash because he can play right back and centre back. Flanagan can play DM, but then we have Pendlebury who can play around. So I'll keep that. Evans hasn't quite had a chance. I've also changed Gaxa and Stead round on my right and left. So Stead's now right and Gaxa left. Get that a chance because Gaxa's not playing well. And he sh his stats are quite good. So I want to try and get best out of him. He's manager from his um, parent club. He complained. I'm not playing him as a striker. The plan was to play him as a striker, but Fuller's played five, scored four. And then we've got Connor Irvins in. He's been on sub three times, but ah, oh, <laughs> last game, Connor Evans came on. He missed a sitter. So he goes back on my mind of giving him a chance at the moment. Right, should we jump in? Let's go. We're doing well. We're on a good run, so let's keep it going, shall we? Yeah, we're not too sure about that. Yeah, to be fair, I wasn't confident saying that either. But look at that. Win, 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 drawn, win. We are ready. And they're obviously 23rd. We're at home. With form-wise, I'm expecting for us to win this. But then they've got odds for a reason to get promoted. So let's see. If we have a bad day, they probably have the quality to beat us. If we carry on doing what we're doing, we should win. Trying to decide what I'm going to do with a box around me. I did have the white circle. I might go back to that. I'm going to probably play around with it until I'm happy. And then we'll stick with it for FM24. So win it back. We lead ones. Gaxa. Gaxa into Stead. Stead. Oh, hits it. I'm just like, yeah, maybe he might be a bit better. But got to stay a little bit loyal sometimes, especially for you good performers. Yeah, talent-wise, you might be better. Oh, just so to speak. Wide. Smith saw it through. 35 minutes. We've had four shots, one on target to their three and zero. And we've got a bit of extra possession on 53%. Committing a lot of fouls, 14 fouls. And I just realized I forgot to do something. Then I knew my obsession instructions. I'll do that at halftime now. Oh, Leo Gax is playing better now. And stats gone worse. Can't win on that. Come on, we can win this. I'm proud of everyone's effort. I must admit, my team does play some nice football for a non-league team. But only way you're going to score against me is by virtually walking it in over the line. <clears throat> Wouldn't it be funny if they literally now score a goal by walking it over the line? Got two good centre-backs, so Grant and Younger, they're both playing well. Go on, Stead. Ooh, unlucky. It's good to see Stead doing something like that when he's playing a 6.5. That's what you want to see. Oh, great ball, Gaxa to Wheatley. Oh, not a penalty. No, he went, just went down. Wheatley again. Gaxa gone. Just can't get it in. There you go. Gaxa's playing a seven. It likes it on that side. Stead doesn't. So does that mean I've got to decide whether to keep have Gaxa instead on one side and find someone who can play well on the right? South Shield's got a couple of corners here. Can we soak up pressure? Oh, not marked. Oh, this is a nice bit of play by South Shields. But we'll clear it out. Well done, boys. 10 shots, three on target. To their six and zero. They haven't had a shot on target yet. 51% possession. It's time to get to a stage of the game where I want to probably make some changes. And I think Fuller's coming off. Give Evans another chance here. Or did we put Caxa up top and play Flynn? Swap them around. That could be a good opportunity to try. So take Fuller's. Stead, no, actually, no, keep Stead there. Yeah, put Stead back because we know Stead plays all right on the left. And then bring on Tom Flynn on the right. See how Flynn plays there. See how Gaxa does up top. We never did better on the left, so that's good. And my defense midfielders aren't playing that great. My whole midfield's not playing that great. Da, 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 da. Did we give Pendleberry a game? Nah, we need to keep Jack Town on. Let's see how we go. Let's give it another 10, 15 minutes. Oh, they had a shot on target. 
Younger, clear it. Tis dead. Nice. Gax is up top. Can't get the ball there. Carroll. Randall, that was poor. He had so much time on his hand. Randall, that was not good at all. Grante is not playing well. And take him off. Bring on Nash. And I also want to just swap that around quickly. Nash and Younger. So Nash is playing on the right. Because that's his preferred. Right, 10 minutes. Stead is coming off. He has an improved going on that left. And Evans is coming on. Could be a ball draw. All right, Randall's got the ball. Can we make something of this now? Three minutes left to play. To Flynn, to Turner. Turner, no, nothing. Got even highlights are rubbish. All right, got one minute left. Looks like it's going to be a board draw. Yeah, it's all over. Corner, you never know. Never know. Could it be last chance of a game? Younger, no, it's a board draw. Okay, we go again. We're still unbeaten. That's now six games unbeaten. I'm disappointed. We should have won that match based on chances we created. Yeah, let's give them a bit of motivation. Kick in the teeth. So we are still second. Gateshead Goat pushes further ahead of us. Oh, good. I've now been allowed to study my National A license. Because I've only got a National B. And then there's Wayne. <laughs> what pushed me to do this was Wayne Rayotlich came to me. I think he came to me or it got suggested that he can do for Continental A. And I was just like, nah. It's like, wait a minute. I've probably got one of the... I have got the lowest qualification here. And I'm for manager. I want to improve myself. And luck and good thing is the board's allowed it. They're going to pay for six hundred pounds. I'm just going to keep on doing push and push on this. All right. So let me do my opposition instructions. Remember this time. Do we make some changes now? Gax have played well there. Stead's form is a bit up and down. He's a bit inconsistent, isn't he? Fuller's form's gone a little bit nah over the last three games. I think it's going to be Evans' first start. And hmm, just having a think. Rodrington's still not fit enough. Okay, I think we'll go with that. Start to get a little bit tired now. Might rest some more players next game. Let's see how we go, shall we? Uh, we're doing well. Oh, we did that last time, didn't it? Didn't work. Let's put pressure on him. It was an upset. That's been working in our first few games. That's it. Boom, drawn, lost, drawn, drawn, lost. It's awful. Yeah, I just like seeing our form. Look at that. Brilliant. Don't expect to do this well so far. Beginning of the season. No, nah, I thought it was going to be a struggle. I thought we was going to be fighting relegation and then around Christmas time make those tweaks to just give us a push and make sure that we probably get like 14th, 15th. Didn't expect to do so well, but we do know that the season can turn. What? So how is everyone else beating them? And then we turn up and they look like the best team in the world. Because they just looked faster, better. They are, but we've been performing quite well. Three minutes in. We just look shocking. This could be a really bad loss then. Oh, could be our first loss of the season. Just try and stay positive. Hmm, we've got better, whereas Woken got a bit stagnated. That's what it looks like. I'm just not happy with these at the moment. Swap them around. We're doing well. Keep working hard until full time. All right, what can we do here? I need one. I need some of our players stepping up. I'm going to make some changes. What are you doing? That's twice now I've seen this. Not by the same player. Frustration comes out of me now. It's just that. Six games in the league. We've played really nice football. I was saying that we play nice football for the league we're in. And then we play teams like this and we just play shocking. We had this last season as well and we won the league. So I shouldn't be too concerned about it. Stead, you're off. I think Stead is going to be a goner soon, I think. He's not up to the standards of this league, is he? And Evans. Just because. my change Gaxa over to that left. Going and insult. Good ball to pull up. Ooh, hopefully it's got it. Turn up. Wheatley. Just salt. Oh. Down my right. A lot. It's Johnson. Randall's been found. You fucking dick. Pardon my French. 
Uh, do we have anything in here? Hmm. Attack, attack, attack. Spurs attack. Is that what I was playing? What are we playing? We've got version two. We're at all Spurs. What's this one do? No. Is that version two? How about that one? Ah, that's the one we like. Tom Flynn, Wheatley. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then Wheatley, Salt, Who's Butter. Okay. And Turner. Yeah, happy with that. Confirm. Let's go. I don't think we need to see the goal. Skip, please. I know what happened. Randall got by that beaten. Oh, that Johnson. He's down there again, isn't he? Oh, it's all over. Oh, Timberlake. Great save. Oh, offside. Right, Nash, Turner. Come on, Turner. Salt to Bailey. And what a crap shot. Yeah. Had a feeling, you know what, in the first three minutes when we conceded, and even after five minutes after that goal as well, I, I said it's going to be a battering. Oh, well, our first loss. Let's um, just watch it, see out the game. Yeah, we, they're all over us. Team ain't got a fucking Scooby. Gone from playing some amazing football to just pure shit. You know what, let's just see out the game. Let's not even attack this. Just not any point. Change them over. Let's go cautious and see how the game. Got to remember, we're away as well. If this was at home, I think I'd be definitely more pissed. Definitely. Yeah, look at him. I'm just taking pissed now. I mean, swear words can you say in one video? Let's check the guidelines. That's where you can just swear as much as you want without offending. Don't know. Do I need to put offensive notice up? <laughs> but it's not made for kids. Right, anyway, there we go. Yeah, they just stepped up the gear. I did see it say that they've changed their way of play and... Yeah, but to be fair, even if I tried countering their way of play, I think we just didn't have the quality. And that's a lesson learned. Good news is I still have 4K left of my weekly budget. So in theory, that could be four quality players. I mean, my highest paid player is £475 a week at the moment. So if I brought in four £1,000 per week players, that's got to obviously give me a boost somewhere, right? And I don't need too much. I probably just need, I reckon if I can bring in one or two quality players to turn around my team, maybe, a, I don't know, maybe two wingers, maybe. I don't know. I need to have a think about it, but I don't want to make drastic changes. First loss of the season against a team who was in League 2 last season. We was away, so let's not think drastic. But if it does turn out that we just can't get wins back again, and then obviously we do need think about that and i have that buffer in my wage budget so i'm glad that i didn't spend all my money in one hit so that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed it just a couple of games i will play a lot of games in the background i'll probably try and run through a couple of months now before my next video which will hopefully be again next week try and release videos weekly and some shorts in for a week if you are enjoying the series or you enjoy videos like this and there's plenty of videos like this on my channel you know what you need to do hit that subscribe button and i would really appreciate it so that this video can go out in the world if you can hit that like button hope you have a good day and i will catch you on for the next one